good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Uh, welcome to the inaugural uh, Foundation for the Future Luncheon. Uh, on behalf of the Student Advancement Foundation, I would like to thank you all for joining us today. I would also like to thank you for the wonderful gift of your time, your valuable gift of time. Um, you know, it's, I guess all I can say is wow. As I look out here, um, this is the first time we've done this before. And I feel inspired and touched by the uh, response of our great community. Um, you know, I, I'm looking at the faces. I see some very familiar faces and smiling faces. And um, you've given your time here uh, because I think very much like the Grand Rapids um, Student Investment Foundation, uh, you care. You, you care about the future of the Grand Rapids Public Schools um, and its students. And speaking of students, we are delighted to have here with us today a very special and talented group of students and can't wait to hear from them. And we'll hear from them in just a, just a few minutes. Uh, for those of you that I have not met and had the pleasure to meet, uh, my name is Todd Walker. I work at Amway and I serve on the board, <laughs> on the board of the um, Grand Rapids Student Advancement Foundation. Um, the Student Advancement Foundation believes that every student should have the opportunity of great education opportunities uh, to learn, to grow, and to thrive. Um, it is truly um, an amazing thing that we have in terms of an opportunity to really help each student, one at a time, um, reach toward a better, a better life. Um, as you may know, um, the Student Advancement Foundation um, serves as the, part, as, the, as the fundraising partner for the Grand Rapids Public Schools um, and is the uh, conduit for our community uh, to the school district. And we work hard to try to provide those enriching opportunities uh, for the kids. Uh, for me personally, the mission of SAF is very, very important for me. Um, I feel strongly that every kid and our community should have the opportunity to shine. And the work that we do at SAF helps the kids in our community take one step closer toward a brighter future. Um, I had a chance to read a really interesting article just a, a few weeks ago. Um, and the, the article was one that really touched me quite deeply um, and, and frankly brought me to tears. Um, and the, the name of the article was uh, What Your First Grade Life Says About the Rest of It. It was an article that was um, summarizing a study that was done by two researchers at John Hopkins. And it covered 800 first grade urban disadvantaged kids for over 25 years. These kids grew up in uh, Baltimore um, in you know, urban disadvantaged um, Baltimore School District, where in fact I'm from, and it happened and was conducted about the same time that I attended school in, in Baltimore. The results of the study were absolutely astonishing and quite sad. Um, I'll give you a couple of the results. 40% uh, of the black females that were in the study had delivered birth to one child by the age of 18, 40%. 10% of these uh, young men had been incarcerated. 5%, only 5% of nearly 800 kids in this Baltimore um, area had uh, went on to uh, go to college or university and to receive a degree. And by the age of 28, only 4% of these kids had left the uh, low income socioeconomic um, status of their parents. The unfortunate thing here is that this is the reality of many youth, many, many uh, uh, urban um, disadvantaged youth in our country. And in Grand Rapids, there's no different. So when I think about the work that we do at uh, SAF, it's about changing that reality. And I am absolutely uh, thrilled to be a part of the organization um, and have some extreme motivation for the work that we do, um, passion, and feel privileged that I can support such an awesome, 
cause and one that personally is rewarding, rewarding to me. So um, I hope by the end of our time together today that you also feel uh, motivated and also feel passionate for the work that we do at SAF, okay? Now before we go any further, um, I want to recognize and thank those who made this luncheon happen. Um, and first, I'd like to thank Steelcase uh, for um, being the uh, uh, presenting sponsor and for underwriting the cost of this luncheon. I would also like to give a big thank you to the amazing table captains. Um, it's because of their time and commitment to the students of Grand Rapids uh, Public Schools that we can boast that we have over 330 guests here at our inaugural luncheon. So if I could ask the captains to stand so we can recognize them. And of course, we are fortunate to have uh, many uh, SAF staff and volunteers here as well who work tirelessly um, towards the mission and vision of SAF. And so we want to also thank them for their effort. So now I would like to introduce um, the Grand Rapids Student Advancement Foundation Chair of the Board of Directors, Deb Bailey. I wish you wouldn't have said first grade. That brought me back to Sister Mary Epiphenia. It was not a, it's not a good journey. Um, it is so exciting to see this full room today and to have a waiting list. So just as an FYI, five years from now when it's 1,000 people, you all get bragging rights that you were there from the very beginning. And with that, we'll probably want to recruit a few more table captains, so know that that invite will, will probably be coming. Um, I joined the Student Advancement Foundation three years ago um, because I really believe in the Grand Rapids Public Schools. I have been so incredibly impressed with the leadership, um, the teachers, the staff, and the students. Uh, at this time, on behalf of the Student Advancement Foundation, I'd like to recognize and thank the Grand Rapids Public School Board members that are here and ask them uh, to rise and be acknowledged for all of their contributions. God, you guys are awesome up here. I don't know, I didn't know five-year-olds could be that quiet for this long. Um, I think what you're gonna find out today that the good news that's happening in the district it's staggering and it's inspiring. The longer I'm involved with SAS, visiting the different schools, meeting with the different administrators, um, I'm in awe. When you go into the existing schools, it's peaceful, it's calm, it's disciplined, lots of smiles, the great new uniforms, and it is just really um, an amazing, amazing experience. So we're really excited that we can help support Teresa and her team who are all constantly innovative and creative in promoting a system that helps all children learn. But the school district can't do it alone. They need the community to support them with their time, their advocacy, and their financial resources. We're uniquely placed to be that bridge to take our resources, to galvanize our citizens, to support the work that they're doing. So I really wanna thank you all for your willingness to learn more about the district and to be involved and be here today. Some of you may have attended the Mindshare event that we held last year and saw the Ford Academic Center string program perform. So we thought it was so inspiring that it'd be a lot of fun to show you where it all starts with the beginners from Congress Elementary. So now I have the fun task of introducing the Congress Elementary Kindergartner string, Strings program under the direction of Patricia Wonder.
Thank you, Congress. Uh, that was absolutely amazing. Um, the talent actually delights us and uh, brings a smile that won't go away. Thank you. It's, it's, it's amazing. I, I, my, um, my wife and I just entered the MPNS club as our kids are off to college. I remember this day um, like it was yesterday, although my kids never followed instructions that well, <laughs> ever. So um, one quick other acknowledgement that I forgot, and that is to, to acknowledge the SAF board. So by all means, if we can have the SAF board stand up to be acknowledged and thank them for the effort and helping to put this on. Education is the most powerful weapon that we can use to change the world. These are not my words, but they are as true here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, as they are in Nelson Mandela's own country of South Africa. With 17,000 students, Grand Rapids Public Schools is the largest school district in West Michigan. And our students face difficult challenges in their educational pursuits. Over 86% receive free or reduced federal school lunch. For many, English is not their first or their only language. 5% are homeless and many more face uncertain housing. But all of these children can learn and they can succeed. They are our community's future. With the right resources today, we can equip them for a bright tomorrow. And that is the Grand Rapids Student Advancement Foundation. The Student Advancement Foundation exists solely to connect resources of the community to the Grand Rapids Public Schools and its students. We believe that with the support from our community, all of our students can learn, develop, and thrive. I believe in the work of the Student Advancement Foundation because I get to see its impact every day. Just recently, I was at a program with students from C.A. Frost Elementary School and a young man was uh, in the river and he picked up a rock that had some insects attached to it and he's looking at it and he looks up and he says, this is so cool, I wanna be a scientist someday. And for me, that is the power of these experiences. They spark learning and they make it real. They open new doors to new opportunity. Most of our work, as you'll hear about today, focus on five impact areas. All of these areas reflect our belief that each are critical to helping develop well-rounded youth prepared for the 21st century economy. These impact areas are literacy, arts education, physical wellness, math science and technology, and environmental education. Literacy. Really, this goes back to the old adage I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Give a man a fish and he eats for a day teach a man to fish and he eats for a lifetime. The statistics are profound. We know that one out of six children who aren't reading at grade level by third grade do not graduate high school on time. The ability to read is the first and best tool to eat for a lifetime. That is why the Student Advancement Foundation recognizes literacy as one of its impact areas. We devote support and resources to ensure that all Grand Rapids Public School libraries are well stocked with up-to-date and appropriate reading materials for children of all ages and all reading abilities. Arts education and physical wellness. These two are critical to helping children to stay connected, active, and engaged in school. But more importantly, these two actually help children become smarter. In fact, neurologists have identified the only six factors that encourage healthy brain development in children. They are heredity, good nutrition, appropriate feedback, being in a loving environment, and the last two, physical education and the arts. And that is why the foundation has a commitment to making sure all children have access to robust experiences in both the arts and in athletics. From our grade level arts trips, to our commitment to supporting elementary and middle school after school athletics programs for boys and girls. Through participating in programs like these, children have better school attendance, they are more engaged, and simply more successful. Environmental education. This impact area developed because we know that we must, as individuals and as a society, respect and understand the world around us. We want to help our next generation of youth to appreciate and invest in themselves and their communities. 
That is why the Student Advancement Foundation supports opportunities to learn in and around the natural world. And the last of our impact areas is probably the most concrete, math, science, and technology. Simply put, we know that to succeed in today's world, children must understand technology and how it works. Because of economic barriers, the children of Grand Rapids Public Schools don't have regular access to the critical technology that they need to compete academically. At its simplest form, to take an algebra class today or even to be competitive on the SATs in math, you must have a graphing calculator. SAF looks at this need and others like it and responds. Simply not having the tool should never be a barrier to a child's success. Yes, the students of Grand Rapids Public Schools face many difficult challenges, but none that are insurmountable. The school district has the right leadership, the best and most dedicated teachers and staff, and as you're seeing today, the most determined pupils. Now, they only need us. We as a community can fill the gap and help provide the resources to give these students the best possible educational environment. And I don't wanna say no. I don't wanna say no to providing every elementary school in Grand Rapids Public a music program like you saw today. I don't wanna say no to an interactive, in-depth learning collaboration with the Public Museum. I don't wanna say no to an after-school soccer program. If all of our students are to learn, develop, and thrive, we must say yes. And together, we will equip our students with an education that will change the world. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce and turn the podium over to a true visionary. Her passion and commitment to the Grand Rapids Public Schools and her unwavering belief in the unlimited potential of the children of this community shines through this school district every day. Without further ado, Superintendent Teresa Weatherall Neal. Good afternoon. First, I want to thank all of you here on behalf of the Grand Rapids Board of Education, all of our staff members. We have over 3,000 staff members in the district and on behalf of our students, our parents, and the community at large, thank you for all that you do for the students in this district. I want to also share my appreciation for not only being allowed to lead this best district in this area, but to share so many stories with all of you. I've known many of you for a long time, and for you to come out this afternoon to help us in the district means a lot to me. The Student Advancement Foundation is the only one, the only foundation that we have that is strictly dedicated to the 17,000 children in the city of Grand Rapids, in the Grand Rapids Public Schools. You are it, this is all we have. And I thank you for that. I don't take it for granted. I wanna thank each and every one of you for your generosity, for your support. Uh, when we didn't have dollars, people in this community, the Student Advancement Foundation, stepped up. You made a huge difference in the Grand Rapids Public Schools. We were able to buy tools, we had resources, other supports that traditionally we would fund with the state and federal dollars. We weren't able to do that, but this community, you all in this room and many others, stepped up for these children. You've heard a lot about Grand Rapids Public Schools over the years. I've been here for many of them. <laughs> you know, we talked about the cuts, the closures, all of the churn that we had over the past 20, 25 years. We were even identified as the model for urban schools because we knew how to make cuts. That's not necessarily the thing to be known for. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to do it. We cut, we closed, we consolidated 35 schools, eliminated 1,000 jobs in this community and we cut $100 million from our budget. But we had to do it. We had to do it the right way, and we did. 
the Grand Rapids Public Schools way. But that story is done. We're at a new place. I am now your superintendent. We have a Board of Education that believes in exactly what we're doing. We are very, very clear with our vision and the hope for the future of Grand Rapids Public Schools. We have a new transformation plan that is proactive, focused on stability, growth, and the future. We're all done just cutting our way out of things. I've shared with many of you our new Grand Rapids Public Schools transformation plan. We did this about two years ago. And I am here to tell you today that it is working. It is working. When you talk to people in this community, you can feel it. You can tell that we have some wind behind us finally. There is a momentum. There's energy in this community around Grand Rapids Public Schools. There's excitement around Grand Rapids Public Schools. Not only is it happening, it has happened. Our test scores went up. Our graduation rates are up. Our enrollment is up. Let me just talk a minute about the enrollment. We are 27 students shy from breaking even. In Grand Rapids, we are making history. We may be the only urban district in the state of Michigan, maybe even one across this nation, to make that happen. I don't want you to minimize what we've done here in Grand Rapids as a community because to stop the loss of student enrollment in an urban district is almost impossible to do. We did it right here in Grand Rapids. I am proud. Not only is stabilizing important for the city, for this community, but it's important for our parents, our students, our staff members. People need to know we are here to stay. Grand Rapids Public Schools is here to stay. It is an important entity. That's right. Be proud. And the future growth of Grand Rapids Public Schools is not just about the schools. It is about this community. It is about the region. It is about the state. What happens to Grand Rapids Public Schools is important to each and every one of us in this room. It is about economic development. We must, we must educate the 17,000 children in the Grand Rapids Public Schools. It is important for us to attract and retain great people. Grand Rapids, I've loved Grand Rapids all my life. I've been here all my life. I love this city. We need to get more people to come here and see what a wonderful place this is. And you do that by having a great educational system. And that's what we're doing. One thing, and I've shared this with so many people in this room, that I don't believe my role as a superintendent is about the here and now. And I don't believe your role as a community member, member is about the here and now. It is about the future generations that are yet to come to this wonderful city. It's bigger than all of us in this room. It is the only way, the only way we can make it happen is by doing exactly what you all have done in the past three years and longer, and that is support the children, let's remove the barriers, and keep going in the best school district in this area. Thank you. Congress Elementary is a neighborhood school located in southeast Grand Rapids. What it means to be a principal here, lots of hugs, lots of smiling faces. We have the best interest of kids always at heart and that makes the job very easy. It's incredible. I have a great time with these kids establishing the relationship that we have now. I love Congress. Congress is just one of the over 45 schools in Grand Rapids Public Schools. 
The Student Advancement Foundation works with Congress Elementary and all the schools in Grand Rapids public schools to help students learn, develop, and thrive. We're an urban district educating about 17,000 children. We have um, many students that live in poverty, about 86% of our students live in poverty, but we're a great district, even with challenges. Congress is a small school with a big sense of community. The Student Advancement Foundation is part of that community. I feel that the Student Advancement Foundation is an extension of the Grand Rapids Public Schools. Um, and one, because we are working on behalf of children, educating children here in the district. The Student Advancement Foundation is important to help us get the message out. What are the needs? What does it take to educate all children? at high levels. One of the greatest things that has been done is the recognition of what barriers and issues we have and going right to work at instilling the belief that we need to empower children and that they can do it and they can be successful and we can challenge them no matter what happens at home. All kids learn their own way. The Student Advancement Foundation knows this, so they work hard to help provide opportunities for Grand Rapids Public Schools students. Students are exposed to activities that help them develop new skills that help them in and out of the classroom. I really like running and like for some reason running, it like, it's like a stress reliever to me. Like if I have a lot of homework to do or something and I could just run and then I can get it done. What do sports have to do with learning? For students like Jason Eek and Alan, after school sports were the key to unlock a love for school and learning. Thanks to the Student Advancement Foundation, they are able to participate in activities like track and soccer that teach them teamwork, communication skills, and help them feel supported. My coaches are awesome. Like, they, they help me with a lot. Because like, if I'm like, going through something at home, I can just tell them they can help me out. The importance of having uh, after-school athletics is, keeps the students focused and busy, and they can uh, find something that they truly love to do. The funnest thing is to score, and the second funnest thing is to be goalie. It's fun to be goalie because you get to dive and you get all dirty when you dive, and um, you st um, when they score on you, you still feel happy and stuff uh, inside. Physical wellness activities like after-school elementary sports are not the only programs that the Student Advancement Foundation provides. The Student Advancement Foundation also supports programs in the areas of literacy, math, science, and technology, environmental education, and the arts that help educate the whole child for future success. Not only do we want to educate their child so that they can be successful, but we love their child as well. So it is about education, but it's about education through the entire child. Just taking the child where they are and helping them to grow. School systems can't do it alone. These children are, are members of this community, and we need people to help us educate them. We are doing a lot of great things in Grand Rapids Public Schools, but when the community gets on board and stands not only behind us, but next to us, it just makes that success seem even more achievable. It isn't just about these children that are sitting in the chair today. It really is about the growth of this city. And we need to all come together to help make that happen. By providing these opportunities, the Student Advancement Foundation is building a foundation for the future as they help students reach for their potential as the future citizens of our community. Sometimes, if a child is not getting what they need from the classroom, that outside venue, um, whether it's sports, arts, music, things like that, that can lead them to love the classroom because it helps them to want to come to school. When you support the Student Advancement Foundation, you support students like Jay Zanique and Alan, and so many other children who have the potential to do something great in our community. I like a lot of stuff about a lot of sports. Mm. But if I had to choose one, then I would choose like the feeling of making a shot for your team. And it's not just for you, it's for the entire team. There was an instance where Alan had been in the game for quite a long time and another student went into the game for Alan's place. Because I played a lot and that kid and the other kid didn't play that, doesn't play that much, so I let him 
I let them be, or play a little bit more. It's exciting to be part of Grand Rapids Public Schools because we're making a difference. We make a difference each and every day. We have so many talented, talented people who have a heart for children and who know that children can succeed, children can learn, and they will be important people in the community. We're an asset to this community. We are about academic achievement, and I believe that we hold the future for the city right here in our seats. The Student Advancement Foundation links community resources to the needs of all students in the Grand Rapids Public Schools. Together, we believe that the community can provide the resources so that all students can thrive. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for being here today. We are so appreciative to see all of you here and for you to join with us for this special inaugural event. So I'm Bridget Cheney. I'm the principal at Congress Elementary. Happy to be here and speak with all of you today. I want to build on something that Superintendent Neal said when she said Grand Rapids is here to stay. I want to say yes we are and we're here to thrive. We're not just here to stay. And it's because of all of you that we can thrive. So I want to tell you about a little story. Congress Elementary student, his name is Raymond. And um, Raymond is a young man who's in fifth grade. He's been at Congress his entire school years. And um, Raymond was a challenge, is a challenge once in a while still. <laughs> Very much um, an inspired young man, inspired to come to school and kick back look around, survey the scene, and say, I'm not really into this today, okay? Um, that's just Raymond, that's who he is, right? Well, last year, we, and we had several behavioral interventions in place, very intelligent young man, knew that we, if we could just reach him, you know, that, that he'd do great things, but we were just struggling with, how are we going to reach Raymond? So last year, uh, our kids are part of Jump Jam, which happens March and April. And so our kids practice jump roping, and they go down to DeVos Place um, on a Saturday and perform, have competitions. And so all week long, you know, through my announcements each and every day, it was, if you're not busy on Saturday, come support the group. Come support your team at Jump Jam down at DeVos Place each and every morning. So Saturday morning came, and I brought a few students with me to Jump Jam, and as I walked through the door, whose face did I see? Raymond's, right? So the only one who came out of anybody that in the entire school that was not part of the Jump Jam team. So, and he said, Mrs. Cheney, I'm here, I made it, you know. I said, great, yay, you know. Are you jumping today? Because, you know, he wasn't really on the team, and so I just said, what's up, Raymond, you know, and he said, I'm here to support. Okay, cool, great, you know. Happy, happy, happy to hear that. Um, so I said, well, tell me, how did you get here? And he said, well, I knew it was at DeVos Place. I wasn't quite sure how to get here. So last night, Franklin, friend from the neighborhood, said, I think we can figure this out. So they got on their bikes, and they, they both live right by, by Houseman Field, got on their bikes, rode down to DeVos Place to see how long it would take, rode back, so they did a practice run. <laughs> the next morning, Raymond set his alarm for 6 a.m., and because he knew he needed to leave his house by 7 in order to get to Jump Jam by 8 o'clock. So he said his alarm went off, he jumped out of bed, he was ready to go, and he got on his bike at 7 and made it down to DeVos Place by 8 o'clock in the morning to cheer his team on. Let me tell you why that's so impactful, not only to me, but to Raymond as well in his future. Um, since then, that day he cheered on his fellow classmates, uh, loved every minute of it, had a few pretzels from, you know, the concession stand and a couple pops, I'm sure. Anyway, um, he loved every minute of it, and I will tell you this. Raymond does not kick back in the classroom any longer. Raymond is not there to survey the scene and see what it is that he's not there for, okay? <laughs> he surveys the scene and says, oh, I got this, okay? He's knocking it out of the park. His map scores went up from last year to this year. Um, he's engaged. He now is part of the soccer team, says he wants to play basketball. We never know what's going to inspire a child. We don't always know what's going to ignite that passion or that fire. The first thing is we must not ever give up, okay? We must search until we find what every single child needs to be able to learn in that classroom. 
Not only is it our job, but it's what we are here for to make sure that our city is successful for the years to come. Because you heard me say on the video, these are our important people, right? Not only are they important because we love them, they're important because they're going to lead the city one day. They are strong, capable members of our society and they will just get better and better. So I, I charge you today to think about Raymond when you think that perhaps an SAF funded program um, may not make a difference. It absolutely does. Not only are our, our kids inspired by the after school activities such as soccer, um, basketball and things like that. They're inspired through the arts program. You saw the strings up here this, today. Such cute kids. How could you not write a check after that, right? <laughs> um, just so cute. But of course I'm biased, right? They're mine. Um, but anyway, uh, through the arts programs, literacy, third graders just came back yesterday from Blandford, so thank you SAF for funding that trip. <laughs> I just can't say enough about the great things that the Student Advancement Foundation does. And I meant every word that I said in the video when I said, if we're standing together, it's not us behind or us in front, we're all standing together united. Can you even just imagine what can happen? Great, great things. So truly from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. From the bottoms of the children who are here today, from their hearts, I know they thank you. And I know that together we can make this happen. We will not stay here but we will thrive here. Thank you. Thanks, Bridget, to you and your students for sharing your story with us today. I'm Carla Grant, and I'm on the board of the Grand Rapids Student Advancement Foundation. I've been involved with this great organization for the past six years because I have seen firsthand that it really does make a difference to the students of Grand Rapids Public Schools. Not only for the students in Congress, but to the students in all 50 buildings in the, in the district. When I was asked to join the board, I accepted because it supports my personal view that our community can only be strong if our public institutions, including our schools, are strong. I love Grand Rapids, and I feel called to do what I can to ensure that all GRPS students have the same chance to succeed that my privileged children were provided when they attended private schools. I want to thank all of you who are here today who already support us in so many ways. We're thrilled to have you here. And we're grateful to those who came just to learn more about the Grand Rapids Public Schools and the Student Advancement Foundation. I hope we've inspired you. When you came here today, most of you did not know what we are going to ask for in terms of financial support. I'm a CPA. They sent me to do this dirty work, OK? <laughs> yeah. Send a CPA. You probably came because a trusted friend invited you or because you're already familiar with the Student Advancement Foundation. But now that you've heard the full story and our vision for all the students of Grand Rapids Public Schools, it's my privilege to ask you to make a financial investment in our ongoing success. This is not just an investment in Grand Rapids Public Schools or the foundation. It's truly an investment in our community's future our children, and I believe that it's one of the most important investments any of us can make. As Michelle and Superintendent Neal shared with you earlier today, there are 17,000 students within the Grand Rapids public school system, and these students face tremendous challenges to success every day. We don't believe that access to the best educational opportunities should be one of them. We know that the students in this district may not have the same opportunities to them like all other area districts. But we want to change that. The Grand Rapids Public School District over, has made so many tremendous strides to meet the needs of the students in this district over the past few years, but, but they, can't, they and we cannot do it alone. Our students must have access to the resources that will help them learn, develop, and thrive. Whether that be up-to-date and fully stocked school libraries, innovative and hands-on place-based learning about our community's history at the Grand Rapids Public Museum, or engaging and stimulating music programs. That is where we, the Student Advancement Foundation, and you come together to ensure these opportunities and so many others for our students. Now I have a really exciting announcement to make, the Ignite Challenge. This is a challenge grant which will help us provide even more opportunities for the students to unleash new passions and to ignite new dreams. I invite all of you to take this challenge with me 
and join us in our important work. But what does this mean? This challenge grant means that any new donations will count towards the challenge and will be matched dollar for dollar up to $50,000. This means that a gift of $150 turns into $300, $900 into $1,800, or $9,000 into 18000 This is truly an incredible gift and we're so, so grateful. I hope that you'll join me in supporting the work of the Student Advancement Foundation through your personal donation this afternoon. One critical way that you can support the students of Grand Rapids Public Schools is by joining the Student Advancement Foundation Honor Society. Last year, my husband and I joined the Honor Society because we saw how important the foundation's work is to the students of Grand Rapids. The Honor Society giving levels are in some way symbolic, but they re represent the real costs of our work at the Student Advancement Foundation. The first giving level is a gift of $900. If you'll consider a gift of $900 or just $75 a month, your gift will help to ensure that every student has the needed tools for class. A gift of $208 per month or $2,500 allows five classrooms to, to discover natural wonders, time to explore outside at Blanford Nature Center. We know that some of you may be a part of a company or a foundation, or you may just be in a position to give more. If you would consider a gift of $5,000 or more, you'll have a major impact in allowing us to provide even more opportunities and experiences. It's our hope and desire today to find at least five new Honor Society members. Now I'd like to ask the table captains to pass out pledge cards. We're incredibly grateful to you for making a difference in the lives of the students of Grand Rapids. If you're joining me as a member of the Honor Society, my personal thanks for your generous support. When I started out by introducing the Honor Society, we know and respect that we all have different financial means. And you can still make a tremendous impact at any given giving level. A generous gift of $150 supports a foundation program for three elementary students for the entire school year. As you can see on your pledge form, we have also provided a fill-in-the-blank line just for you. On this line, please tell us how much you would like to give. We truly appreciate whatever level of support you can provide. I hope that many of you have already chosen one of these options. If not, perhaps you want more information. I would, would like to take a tour of a school, or if you simply have some great ideas for us, Please check the last box, the one that says, please contact me. I have other thoughts to share. I know that many of you are still writing, but if I could have your attention for just a moment, I have something important to share with you. Whatever gift you have chosen to make today, joining the Honor Society, or if you have simply given the gift of your valuable time to be here, I sincerely thank each and every one of you. I'll give you some time now to finish filling out the cards, and when you're finished, Please pass your envelopes back to your table captain. Thanks for your time, and now I'd like to invite Todd back up for a few closing remarks. Thank you, Carla. You know, I, I hope that you were inspired as I was about what you saw and what you heard. Um, how many more Raymonds are out there that we can touch and we can help take a step towards a brighter future? Thank you for joining us today and learning more about the work that we do at SAF. We know that each of you have very busy lives and we really appreciate you taking time out today to spend with us and learn more about what we do at SAF. As you leave here today, we hope that you know how much of a difference you are making to the students of the Grand Rapids Public Schools. Together as a community, we can make sure students have the kind of experiences and enriching educational opportunities that changes lives. Again, we sincerely thank you. Have an awesome afternoon.